This video is going to show you how you can change the tab titles within CB Conditional, the plugin for Community Builder in Joomla. And this can be um, a difficult thing to understand at first, so that's why I decided to put this video together once, um, once I figured out how to do it. So uh, the first thing that you have to do is you have to be able to get into your website's uh, hosting via FTP. So wherever your Joomla website is, and you've got CB Conditional installed, uh, you FTP into your host account. So let's go ahead and I'll pause the video and we'll do that. All right, so once you're logged into your FTP location, where you have your Joomla site built, you want to browse to the following directory. Begin by finding the components directory and going into that directory and then you will want to locate com underscore com profiler and go into that directory and then locate the plugin folder, go into that directory, then the language folder, go into that directory, the default language, and then the file that you want to download is defaultlanguage.php. So here I am in that location. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, for this application I'm using, I just have to double click and it downloads the default language PHP file to my desktop. Now, what you need to do is open up this PHP file. If you're not familiar with PHP files, you can just open it with any text editing program and you'll be able to uh, view that file without any problems. Um, on my computer here, I have a special program that reads PHP files and so I'm going to go ahead and open it with that program. Alright, so here I am uh, I've opened up the default language PHP file and as you'll notice it's a really really long file. All you need to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom. Alright, and then the last thing you'll see is something probably similar to this where there's a little comment there. Just go below that and add a little bit of space and this is where we're going to add our uh, values that we would like to have the steps, you know, how, however we would like them to be displayed. So I've actually got this on my clipboard, so I'm going to go ahead and just paste it here and then I'm going to explain it. So the first thing you want to write, and you can see this uh, will be posted in the um, notes for this video. Um, but I, as you may have seen there at the beginning, I have four steps. So what we have to do is define each one of these steps because they're just, by default, it's going to say step one, two, three, and four. Okay, so for the first step, for each step, that you, however many steps you have, you want to follow this pattern. So if you just have one step that you want to name, you would just write down here, you would write define, open parentheses, space, you, know, you would just copy this exact line. And then rather than membership plans, you would put in the value that you would like to have. So my awesome step one, or <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Um, and then you, you, you can just copy that value and paste it however many times you have uh, for steps, and then make sure that you change it as I've done here. So it reads reg step one, reg step two, three, four, etc. And then uh, within the parentheses here, as long as you're following this layout, it will pick up in the system just fine. Okay, so as you can see, I've now input the values just how I'd like them to be, and click save. Okay, so now I've saved this uh, default language PHP file with the new step values, so I can go ahead and quit out of there. And at this point, all that needs to be done is to upload. All right, and now when I go back to the website and refresh the page, excellent. As you can see, 
Each one of the values has now changed from step one, step two, step three, and step four to be displayed as the text, however, you know, you'd like to have it customized. So that's the fix for CV conditionals and changing those tab titles. Hope it helps.